Dobrze. Full strike clear. Oh, I did not know that was gonna kill. One shower, one shower. I'm fucked. One enemy remaining. Shower is fast. Oh my god. Yo, what's up, cuties? Um, today we are gonna do another breach guide, and it's actually on bind this time. It's highly requested, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys all the finicky stuff that I like to on bind and some cool stuff that you guys can run in your next rank game. So without further ado, let's get into it, boys. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the um, defensive side flashes. Uh, I'm gonna do the aggressive flashes, which is honestly the the best uh, util usage I get on breach on this map. Is uh, doing aggressive flashes. So. The first one is just right as the barrier drops, you just gotta run down long B, throw a flash down here. And if there's anybody, usually I just fight this angle. If you overcommit, you actually get killed a couple times here, but if you flash down this here, uh, you can just fight that. Another way to do it is uh, have your jet dash down and you just spam flash. So you can throw that one first and then I usually throw that one. Okay, um, same kind of thing. Uh, with the B long, this one's a little bit stinkier and not a lot of people know uh, about this one. But same kind of thing, you're gonna have your jet dash down or just someone run down long B while you throw these. And you can honestly just pump out all three. Um, when the barriers are up, it's gonna look red like this, but once the barrier goes down, just make sure you're at the top of the silo and just throw the flashes. And I throw like two. And what's actually gonna happen is it's gonna flash deep. This long angle here, right there, it's gonna pop right there and it'll actually flash hookah as well. So this one's pretty cool. Okay, for a hookah push, um, I think this flash is the best. We flash it kind of lower, lower the angle, right there on the mini map. You can peek off it there. Uh, let's say you're playing sight as opposed to an aggressive flash. Uh, if you are playing back sight or tube, I think throwing your flashes on the screen box is really good because it actually flash hookah and long. You can just fight, swing off that, and then if you want to flash front box or on top, this one's pretty good as well. Um, if they are long, they won't get, I, I don't think they'll get blinded to the top one, to this top flash, so I usually throw it in the front, and can swing off of it. Another uh, really good flash that I like to use when I'm playing a uh, passive on B is basically off of someone else's util. Usually it's either a cypher cam that I throw here or a killjoy turret from right there. You have to just sit here and wait for them to get spotted, and then you can just flash this and swing off of it. Okay, this one's a bit sillier, but you'd be surprised about uh, how many kills you can get uh, using this flash. But as soon as the barrier drops, you literally just hold W with your flash out, flash, flash up here, and you'll actually get a kill or two because they're going to be right here. And they're gonna, as soon as they hear TP, they're going to look here and they'll get blinded. So that one's kind of silly, but it actually works a lot. So you guys can use that as well. Okay, for the aggressive A flashes that I like to do, uh, same kind of thing when the barrier drops, you're just going to hold W, throw a flash right there, and I usually swing right. I don't fight left here. Um, and if they are in this area, they will be blinded. So just throw that flash. If they're not there, you will get a lot of info and you might be able to push up after as well. So that's what I like to do at the A short for an aggressive flash. Same kind of thing for uh, showers, just off the barrier drop, hold W, flash out, flash up there, swing. If they're not there, you get a lot of info. Uh, if they are there, they're full blind, free kills. Um, for a decent uh, defensive setup, when you're playing passive, uh, the higher on the... This wall right here is actually better because it'll blind showers as opposed to just throwing it right there, which is only blind short. Um, so I usually try and throw it right above here. And it's actually in line with this uh, this tarp right here. Just throw a flash there. Blinding. And then you can swing off of that one. It's actually pretty good as opposed to just throwing the plus. Okay, now for stuns. Um, the, these are the default stuns that I like to use. I don't do them a lot, but they are pretty good. Uh, this one's for hookah. You throw it, you start in this cubby right here. As soon as the barrier drops, you just stun down. And it'll keep them off of uh, hookah for a little bit. Also, it might stun the raise nade. Or sorry, the raise, uh, raise boom bot. So that one's pretty good. And then this one's pretty stinky. I did the same kind of thing with a cypher cam or killjoy utility. Is you have someone play right there and you sit behind this shed right here. And hold a stun for here and literally everything will be stunned. So they, they, they can't do anything. So you, uh, Killjoy bot gets triggered, you stun, your teammate from right here swings, and you'll get a kill or two. Okay, now for my uh, A stuns, I think the best two 
There's not really a lot you can do this time, but um, I like to pair this with an aftershock. Let's say they're coming up a short. You have to shock this cubby, and then you stun all the way down a short, and then you can actually swing. What they tend to do is hide behind this box because they're stunned, and I usually just put like 15 bullets or so in that box and try and get a kill off of that. For my bathroom stun, um, same kind of thing with the Killjoy or Separate Utility. If you see one in bath, you can have someone playing close, uh, like right here right here and you just set up a stun hopefully they're not coming up ashore and you have info or you have someone aggressive here and um, they, there's not a lot of wiggle room here so they will be stunned if they're in bath okay now it's time for aftershocks um i think when i like to use my aftershock is for sova drones or bomb plant um the most common places for sova drone are here here and here um if you know that they are sova droning every round from a short uh, you can just have an aftershock ready at the start of the round and you just have to be able to hear where the Sova is droning from and you throw either, you can see on the mini map obviously, throw an aftershock there, or if you know that they're starting from the left side, you play on this side of U-Haul you throw an aftershock there. Um, otherwise for bomb plants, you can either play Heaven or CTA and just get ready to aftershock the bomb uh, for post plant. Okay, now for B aftershocks. Um, same kind of thing, we're kind of trying to focus Sova drones. Uh, this will actually eliminate their utility, which is kind of a $100 for a $300 trade-off, if that makes sense. Um, this is a little. This is only a chip damage aftershock, but you can see on the minimap, if they are droning from right here, this will hit them for 60. And when they get hit by the Sova drone, it, uh, they're not able to use it anymore, or when they're hit by the aftershock. Um, so it'll actually cancel out their utility, which is a pretty good trade-off. Uh, the other one that I like to run, I usually cross to this side. And I'll just throw the aftershock right here, and then the bomb out there. Um, otherwise, for aftershocks, uh, if you want to play post plant, or sorry, not post plant, but uh, you want to stop bomb plant, you throw it through here. So the default plant is right there. Okay, now for ultimates. Uh, I kind of struggle with ultimates on this map, but there are some pretty decent ones. I think the best time to use ultimate is kind of for retake. Uh, if you're playing B, you tell your team, hey, let's play retake A this round. Um, the best ults are right here for U-Haul. You just ult U-Haul, have your team swarm U-Haul and get in there. Uh, otherwise, if you know they're playing site, you can come in the CT area again. And this will ult bench, triple, and a little bit of showers. Um, if you guys didn't know this already, you can actually use your breach ult to get up on higher places. So this one's kind of cool as well. If they are coming up a short, um, you just hit mouse one and jump at the same time. And you actually get up on top of triple or on uh, APC here and you can fight after your breach ult. So that's kind of a cool little trick. Um, same kind of thing for retake. I think if they're coming B and you know they're coming, you play the elbow area and you can just get ready to breach ult site. Tell your team, hey, let's go. I'm breach ulting now. And you guys just fight site and all you have to worry about is hookah and long at that point. Okay, now time for the T side. Um, I'm going to start off with stuns. And then we'll get into um, some flashes and some setup plays that you can run on the attacker's side. Um, so the barrier's going to be right here. So this is a default stun that I like to use. You just stun all the way across and it'll actually hit bath. And if you have your teammates going bath, um, they'll be able to get that orb pretty easily. Uh, the other stun that I like to use on the A side or the B side is uh, Hookah. It's not going to hit everything, but it will hit a large portion of it. You just tell your team to push in. All right, I'm stunning. And then your team can go in. So those are my uh, favorite two stuns on the attacker side. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys um, a couple of the set plays that I like to use on bind. Um, this requires either a movement character, which is raise or jet, and then breach as well, obviously. Um, so what I like to use is jet. Uh, ideally, we have a sova. Sometimes, a lot of the time, you don't have a sova, um, but your sova will drone up short for you. As he's running up short, Jet's going to be behind the drone as like the second entry to the drone. And then I'm going to be behind a short as well. Uh, so what's going to happen is Breach is going to flash up on this right wall. And then secondly, I like to aftershock this. This clears all this angle right here. And then the Jet is going to dash up into U-Haul right here. And then you have to tell your Jet to wait for the, this last flash right here. So this will be clear, and then you'll have U-Haul control with two flashes. And uh, usually you can wrap sight as well. So this play will look a little something like this for the Breach's perspective. I'm just going to flash this right wall, throw an Aftershock U-Haul. Your Jet's going to dash up, and you're going to flash him into U-Haul. 
Dash, you hold your sword? Yeah, dash on the second flash. Cover going out. Blinding! Cover going out. Flash out! <sighs> okay, um, this is uh, an alternate to that play. Um, same kind of thing. I like to do this when Jet has knives, but you will let your Drusova drone up short and your Jet's gonna go up short behind it. Uh, what I like to do is flash, same kind of flash on the right. And then the second flash is actually gonna be behind this truck. And as he throws the second one, Jet's gonna dash on top of the truck with her knives. And uh, you can actually just uh, fly into the site with Jet in a couple flashes, and it usually results in taking the site. Okay, now for aftershocks. Um, I think how I like to use my aftershock is usually for a post plant. Um, if you're in U Haul and you're playing post plant, you can just throw the aftershock in here and it'll stop the bomb plant. Um, otherwise, uh, the other best place to use it is CT here. This will buy about three to five seconds of time as I'm unable to push through that aftershock. Okay, the uh, best aftershocks for B, um, it kind of depends where they're playing. Let's say if I like, play hookah a lot, you can just use it in hookah. Uh, they clear the left side and then push in off of the flash and clear the right. Um, otherwise, another good really play with aftershock is you actually aftershock the mid two here. And this will require them to go to the left or right and you actually just spam either side of the uh, box here. Okay, now time for flashes. Um, so with all these flashes, there is an initial flash and then a scaling flash. So you'll throw one uh, just to stun them a little bit. And then the second one is for your jet to dash into. Um, so from hookah, the best way I like to do it is flash a high flash here. And then you can throw it a second one. You can kind of see it on the main map. This one takes a little bit of practice, but you throw it on that second box and your jet can dash out with the, with the smoke right here and should be able to take sight. Same kind of thing for B long. Uh, you just throw an initial flash. And then the second flash that I like to use is usually on this green box right here. And uh, it should take sight as well. Okay, for T side ultimates, um, there's only two ultimates that I really like to run on this map. And that is either elbow or sight from Octagon. And then on the A side, uh, this one's just from Bath. It's just as close as you can get, really, to getting the most potential off your ultimate. But you can either, depending on if you see anything on the main map, you can either ult triple or U haul in sight. Um, so yeah, it just depends what you see on the mini map. What what you you just got to react to uh, their positions. All right, guys, um, that's gonna conclude my uh, bind breach tutorial. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a little thumbs up. It means the the world to me, and uh, it knows that you guys actually appreciate these videos. Um, also comment down below what map you guys want to see next. The only two that we have left right now are Split and Icebox. So if you guys comment down below and uh, I'll make sure that the next tutorial is uh, either one of those two maps. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys with the next tutorial in a couple weeks. But uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, thanks for coming through. And uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. These cowards aren't ready for me. I fight the child to play. Guns in my face. Just another Tuesday. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. Hell yeah!